Bravo, Figaro! Son of a submariner, they'll pay for this! Son of a submariner, this is great! And we've got quite the team here. Was that a bad person? I, I'm scared. Don't worry, baby. Coco, there's someone I'd like you to meet. We're members of the Returners. Our mentor, Bannon, would certainly like to meet you. Magic is going to be the key to winning this war. Magic? Coco has magical powers that Esper seemed to react to her. Can there be some connection? How do we know about... How does he know? I, I, I guess I should say. How does he know about the Esper? I haven't f the foggiest. It se just seems natural to me that I have the use of this power. But no human is born with the powers you seem to have, and... Are we saying she's not human now? Go, go! I, I, I apologize. What should I do? I'm sure the Empire is going to come after you. If they get their hands on you again, the world's finished. Coco, you want to understand your own powers, right? Then I think we need to consult with Bannon. Please. Okay, to the south, there's a cave that leads to South Figaro. And now we are in control! On board our chocobos! I think we could actually get off of them if we wanted to, but... Um, I'll, I'll stay on them. And here we get extensive use of mode 7. Very nice. Uh, it looks like it's around here, but I can't quite get to it. So I'll have to go... No. I swore it was here. Yeah, you can't go backwards, and that's one of the things I don't like about this mode. There it is. It's kind of hard to see in this mode. Can I look at the... I cannot look. So we have to get off the chocobo. There we go. So we had to get off the chocobo. Anyway, now we can look at the menu. It's about time. Let's go ahead and take off that mythical shoe from Coco. Well, it wasn't a good idea giving that to her in the first place. Give that mythical shield to Luke. And then we can start optimizing. Optimizing. As you saw there, huge upgrade from the Mithril Blade, the Mithril Pike that we stole from Mog. I mean, we totally just borrowed it or something. But, as you also can see, Coco's a little bit further behind than everybody. Uh, in terms of stats, Glenn is going to be pretty much an offensive fighter. You can see high battle power, high vigor, uh, high defense, um, Magic defense. Evade means nothing. I will say that right now. It's bugged in this version of the game, unfortunately. Evade does not do anything. It goes off of magic block, which is kind of weird. Then we have Luke, who has pretty much high vigor. Not so much battle power, to be honest with you, but he does have a damn good speed. Stamina is right around the same. Magic power, I don't even know why it's there. His magic defense is good. His evade is high, but as I went over before, that is worthless. But he has uh, twice the magic block, which is nice. Coco, uh, actually right around the same battle power as... Luke, of course, that is uh, purely dependent on the weapon that you're using as well. Uh, vigor is a little bit low. Speed's still pretty low. Actually, Glenn's the slowest. That's kind of weird. Defense, low. Evade is meaningless. Uh, magic power, very high. Stamina, pretty low. And magic defense, pretty high. And her magic block is very high as well. Actually, can I equip Luke with the uh, blade? I can. Very nice. So now his battle power is definitely higher than Goku's. Very, very nice. So, we need to head through the cave, but as you saw, I am not doing so well on HP and MP, so I'm going to go ahead and use one of my tents that I purchased, and I will be right back.
Actually, I was being stupid and already used the tent. You don't need to, and I would actually advise against it. But let's just go ahead and go inside. Here we can find a soldier. King Glenn, where are you headed? Through the cave and eastward to South Figaro. Return to the castle and tell the others we're safe. Yes, sir. Take care. Wait, return to the castle? The hell did the ca like? Did it the hell's going on with the castle? Seriously. This is why you don't need to use the tent. There's a recovery spring right here, and I was being very stupid. But we're going to move on and try to forget that I just wasted some of my money. And we are up against Bleary's and Crawley's. Bleary's and Crawley's are quite weak. Uh, we're going to pretty much utilize Glenn and his overpoweredness throughout this entire dungeon. <laughs> Auto crossbow for the victory every damn time. Now, if you go up these stairs here, you can open up a chest with a tincture in it. I'm going to avoid that chest and leave it be. So let's continue on. Down there, you can get, I uh, believe that is a phoenix down down there. I'm going to avoid that one as well. I'm going to avoid all the chests in this place. I do need to go around this way. Uh, once again, the same thing that we had in the caves of Narsh. Same fight, really. The reason being that uh, later in the game you can come back and they will be more powerful items. As a result of that battle, Coco did level up, and as a result of increasing her level to level 6, she has learned Antidote. Uh, that's how you will learn magic in this game. You don't have to purchase it because, of course, the whole world's kind of going, what the hell? You use magic? So you can't purchase magic. Uh, she'll just automatically learn it as she progresses through the game. And I'll try to point out when she does learn all the different abilities. Um, quite a, a varied character. She does have white and black magic to this point. Just crawlies. Is there anything over here? Yes, there is. And I believe this one is a tincture. I might have the phoenix down and the tincture reversed, though. Either way, I am not going to be requiring their services. So we will head up through here, and we'll try to make our way out. If we could encounter new enemies, that'd be appreciated as well. Hoping for the other fight, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So we'll just continue on and out of the cave. And we've made it back to the overworld with the great music. Oh, so good, so good. In fact, let me just take this chance to just stand here and listen to it while I say, yes, I know, every instinct in me, every RPG completionist instinct in me says to grab every chest as soon as I find it, but you'll have to trust me on this one, and I know it's not necessarily something that you will agree with every time, but these chests do get better as we go through the game later. Okay, let's go inside. God, that's good music. And we have made it to South Figaro, and there goes somebody. It looks like he moved diagonally. That guy looked, looked awesome. Looks like a ninja or something. Uh, okay, yes, this is a this is our first real town where we can go shopping and all that. Thank you, human sign. Uh, you, where's the little girl? Talk to the little girl. The Empire will smash you. Of course they will. Here, you can get a tonic. Uh, leave it. Don't, yeah, don't get the tonic. Leave that for now. I know. <laughs> it bothers me, too. Uh, this is going to be a green cherry. I'm going to leave that behind as well. Even though it's probably better than what the, the item turns into, I'm going to leave it. Uh, if we go down here... Then we can get a. I believe this is a soft. Leave that one as well. I'm not going to grab any of them, really. Uh, this one here. Jeez, uh, I'm trying to look through my notes, but I don't have them in the same order that I do here. Uh, this is an eye drop. This is an antidote. And there's a couple more. Uh, but those those are the 
the one so far. Here we find the Sable Mountain Range. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to leave those behind, and we're just going to head to the cafe, where I don't think there are any treasure chests. I think that is all the ones outside, though. Um, either way, let's just move on <clears throat> into the to the cafe. Dun who's Duncan? Is Duncan alive? Did he make it? Can I have his sword? What's up with the little girl? No. Because... This is this is supposed to be a bar, even though it says cafe. The guy at the counter is kind of creepy. Oh, it's the guy! We found him! Yes, nobody is safe anywhere because of the Empire. I want to talk to the guy! Uh, Duncan made his son Vargas practice a strict martial arts lifestyle. Vargas resented it. Can I talk to you, dude? How are you doing? At the very least, you could give me a response. Stand back! He seems vaguely familiar. Wait a minute. He owes allegiance to no one and will do anything for money. He comes and goes like the wind. His name is not Shadow. Oh, and he's very clearly a ninja. At the request of Nine Hig, his name shall be Bash. That's. Bash! He'd slit his mama's throat for a nickel! Better steer clear of him, I guess. Yes, yes you should. Now let's just continue on. And down here doesn't look like we have anything either. What the hell's going on? Out of the way! I gotta get this cider over to the old man! That's my job! Now scram! What the hell? What's he doing? Is there something here? I don't see anything here. So let's just get on out then. Oh, there's one more thing that I need to find. Can I talk to the old man now? No. Don't let me talk to the old man anytime. Okay. God, just whatever it takes to get out of here. I don't need to rest at the inn. However, this is probably going to be a spot where I do finally do some level grinding. Not because I'm... Um, wait, where are you going? Hey. Where, where the hell do you think you're going? I can't keep up! Hey, what? No, damn it, I could have talked to him then. Where are you? How's he going? Alright, so that's where he went. We'll follow him there eventually. But we have more exploring to do.